I'm not having a Beyonce mama with the blonde hair. I'm having a hot flash. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's just jump right into it. What is the deal with the side effects of Wagovi? Let me just start out by saying that um, I love Wagovi. I love the product. I've had great success with, with Wagovi. Um, however, with all good things, there's always a flip side. Now, if you already taken Wagovi or, or, or you're about to take Wagovi, then I think these are some of the um, pointers that you should kind of look out for. So, um, as you know, if you've already looked at the box, you kind of looked at the side effects and, you know, we know that, thi let's see, I got some notes here, thyroid cancer, um, ooh, pancreati pancreatitis, um, those are two of the big ones that kind of stick out. So like if you've had a history of thyroid cancer in your family, then that's like one of the first things that doctors will usually ask because if that's the case, then they won't prescribe it, okay? Um, so let's just kind of get into some of the common side effects. I'll start with the most important, well, I'm not gonna say most important, but I'll start with the one that kind of hit me fast and that is the fatigue. If you're on 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.7, then at some point you would have experienced this for most people. Now, I've talked to some people and they have not had any of these issues, like, which I'm glad for them. I am glad for them. Uh, but for the majority of us, like, the side effects of fatigue is huge because the first 20 pounds that I lost on Wagovi, I was not able to exercise. Like, I was barely able to just kind of sit up and, oh my God, it it was it was bad um, if you go back through my videos I wasn't even able to like film as much because I would be literally just so tired um, so for me that was a big one um, also headache had a headache at the beginning uh, so that's another side effect another side effect is low blood sugar um, and I think I talked about trying to eat more frequent frequently um, when you're starting this because you can go for hours and it will drop your sugar and you will feel lightheaded and dizzy and things like that. Um, another symptom, um, let me go back to um, the headache. So that can also lead into nausea. Now I will say with Wagovi being kind of out of stock everywhere pretty much for everything but the 2.4 um, I've had some people in the comments saying that hey my doctor's gonna start me on 1.0 <laughs> like no 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 like don't do that unless you're coming from like say Ozempic and you were on like a similar dosage but if you're just gonna start off with like 1.0 1.7 that in my opinion my non-medical opinion, like that is a huge mistake. Like, please don't do that. And the reason why I say don't do that is because it starts off incrementally. I said that without messing it up. It starts off incrementally. So you got, like I said, the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.7, 2.4. 2.4 being the main thing. It's really rainy hard here. <laughs> 2.4 being the maintenance stage. So it starts off incrementally like that so that it gives your your body a chance to adjust to it because this does um, impact your digestive system so um, the nausea the fatigue um, the headaches all those things bloating burping belching heartburn like a lot of those things come with it so if you're already starting at a higher dose like you you may experiencing like vomiting like right off the bat um, I mean, to the point where you're dehydrated and may have to go to the ER and get um, some electrolytes or something like that. So if you have a doctor and he's like, hey, we don't have this, but we can start like, no, like don't do that because the 0.25 is new to your system as it is. And that takes some getting used to. So I want to make sure that I really um, preface that with saying, if you're not coming off anything similar, please don't start at a higher dose other than the 0.25. Now, unless Wagovi comes out with something different, maybe they're gonna adjust the dosage, I don't know. But in the meantime, like, just take your time. Um, and some of the other things that I noticed was uh, constipation. Um, now, you can't take 
things for constipation, you know, like syrup or something or drinking more fluids to kind of help with that because that is one of the common side effects. Um, dehydration because you're not drinking enough, which leads to the constipation. Um, one of the big things that I've seen and I heard about a lot is hair loss. Now, I didn't have any huge hair loss. I mean, other than just like normal, what's normal for like perimenopause, like nothing that was like, oh my God, you know, this is happening. But it's becoming pretty common that hair loss is a um, side effect of taking a look So if you are experiencing these things, then please note, you know, just kind of think about, was I having this issue before or did this really just start when I started taking a look at So um, just so you know, well, hair loss can be a side effect of that. Um, heart palpitations. So it can increase your heart rate, your heart rate. So if you are noticing that, you want to make sure that you let your doctor know, especially like if you moved from let's say 0.5 to 0.1, all of a sudden you're having heart palpitations. They may, they may need to lower your dose and then kind of ease you into it. Maybe you stay on that dose for like a couple of months maybe. I don't know, but heart palpitations is a side effect of that. Um, indigestion. Um, bloating I did experience a lot of the bloating which was sweating because you know I have a hot flash in a minute um, I did experience um, bloating but to be honest dealing with the perimenopause that is one of the issues that I have anyway is bloating I started taking probiotics to kind of counteract that so I'm hoping to see some results from that um, now Depending on your age and other health conditions and other medications that you may or may not be on, they may, that may impact um, some of the side effects that you may experience with Wagovi. So, I'm going to make sure we keep that in, uh, in mind also. Um, oh, um, if you are having any type of allergic reaction now, an allergic reaction could be skin rashes, itchiness, swelling of the eyelids to stop like stop immediately <laughs> like stop and call your doctor and let them know like hey this is not good this is this is what I'm having these are some of the issues that I'm having um, now I will say that like if you go onto the Novo Nordisk I hope I said that right but if you go to the Novo Nordisk website there actually is something there's an area in there where you can report your symptoms especially if you see some symptoms that I may not have covered um, you can actually go in there and it'll say you know when did you start taking it how long were you taking it what exactly were your symptoms are you still having those symptoms um, it basically there's a page in there where you can detail everything that you have so for me I did report but it wasn't a bad thing like I report that hey as soon as I stopped taking Wagovi my hot flashes like the issues that I was having with perimenopause showed up so you know the hot flashes, like all that started within a couple of weeks of stopping Wagovi so yeah so here I am fanning myself my fan. here I am fanning myself again um, so if you're in my age range, so I'm, you know, you got to do the math, 46, probably 47 at the end of the year. And I always say this because so many people are experiencing the same thing with um, not being able to, you know, lose the weight without the assistance of a Goldie. And so, yeah, we have, you can experience hair loss. Uh, you can experience the weight gain. You can experience fatigue you can't like those are things that you can't but I know for a fact because I was documenting my journey from the beginning I know for a fact that certain things were strictly due to me being on with Kobe. so um, I will say that other than that um, my weight loss is going really good I'm still at one pound a week I already told you from the previous video that I'm using my fitness pal to kind of track my calories um, I have increased my uh, weight training to two days a week and again I'm not experiencing any fatigue because I'm done with it um, so that's that's kind of what's going on so oh I do want to say that a lot of these symptoms most likely will go away the longer that you are on Wagovi so um, by, if you start at 0.25 and by the time you get to 1.0 or 1.7 a lot of the symptoms that you're experiencing in the beginning may have stopped so I'm just kind of keep out on the lookout for that and it really is about what you're able to handle what um, 
what your tolerance is for certain things. So yeah, just keep a look out for that. Make sure you are talking with your doctor. Um, some people have great uh, results without going any further. Like I've seen people that are, have just stayed on 1.0 and went fine, like they were fine. Um, in terms of how long you can stay on Wagovi, like long term, like from my research, long term. So, um, you know, I know that was one of the questions that were uh, that was kind of floating around the comments. So yeah, just wanted to make sure that I did mention that to y'all. So hope I answered a lot of questions and um, these are things that I would have wondered if I was just starting or just kind of doing my research on Wagovi. So, but despite all of the side effects, would I take Wagovi again? Yes, I absolutely would. So that should tell you a lot. It's kind of like if you call someone's employers like, hey, would you hire this person again? And they say yes or no, like that tells you all you need to know. But yeah. Just wanted to make sure that I put that information in there for you guys. Right. So other than that, I am doing well and I hope you guys are doing well too. Um, if there is something specific that you would like to see me cover, please let me know. I'll be happy to do some research on it for you and bring it to you guys. So um, other than that, things are good. Thank you guys again so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, you guys. We got this. We got this. Whether you're starting your journey, whether you're in the middle of your journey, or well, you are, you're going to continue on the journey, or maybe like me, you, you're in the process of your exit strategy, like you're living out your exit strategy. That's okay. As I always say, we got this. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.